Alrighty guys, welcome back and let's go ahead and create our database in this video. So as I create this database, I'm going to go ahead and talk you through some MySQL commands like create and read and update and delete. So like we're going to create records in the database and we're going to read records back from the database and we're going to update records in the database with new information or we can delete it completely. That kind of just sums up MySQL in a nutshell. So keep in mind that MySQL is a lot easier to learn than PHP because there's only like seven things we can do in MySQL compared to PHP where there's thousands of things we can do or perform. Okay, so let's go ahead and create a database this time and I'm not going to delete it. So create our database and name it anything you want. And I'm just looking around my room right now, so I'm going to go ahead and name it Guitar. So make sure this is collation and this is utf8 underscore general underscore ci. And then I'm going to go ahead and click create. Who's this? Silence. Okay, so now, okay, look up here. Our database has been created and this is our SQL right here. So if we didn't create our database just by clicking it in that last part, we would have to create it in here. Well, this is the same way how terminal is. Either we want to create database in uppercase letters and then add the parentheses and create guitar. We can do all that, but that's what we have PHP my admin for, to not do this up here. So let's go ahead and keep going. So now we are inside our database and let's create a table. And a database is really just a collection of tables. And it stores info in these tables just like kind of like a Microsoft Excel spreadsheet. It's just column, columns and rows of information that can talk to each other and pull information from one another. So just keep that in mind in case you have no idea what uh, a MySQL or a database on a server is. So, okay, so now let's go ahead and create a table. And again, we can call this anything we want. You can call it, I don't know, data or information or subjects. I'm gonna go ahead and just call it, let's go ahead and call it tables. No, that'd be too confusing because we're going to – don't call it tables. Call it uh, information. We'll keep it a little bit more formal. And number of fields, I want number of fields. I want four number of fields. So click go. Okay, here we go. So for the first field type, I'm going to type in ID, and I'm going to leave this integer – I'm going to leave this type set to integer, and the length, I want three. So the three gives us how many positions we can have. So we really can have anywhere from zero to 999, if that makes sense. So if we gave it four lengths, it'd be, we could have any ID range from zero up to 9,999. But that's way too much. Just for the tutorial, I'm just gonna type in three. And don't worry about default, collation. No, attributes, nope. Don't set it to null. I want to set it to auto increment so it goes up by whole numbers, just one, two, three, four, all the way up to 999. And that's all I want to do for ID. So for my second field, I want to create a menu name. And I want to set this to varcar, which is really just like a string of text. And the length that this could be, I'll create the maximum number of characters it can be is 20. And I think that's all I want to do. Index, nope. Comments, nothing. Attributes, collation, no. Don't worry about any of these, any of these other things. So for my third field, I want to create position to give my database structure. And again, I'll leave this on integer. Length value of three is fine. And make sure you're not clicking null on any of these because I want all of these to be not null, which means they'll all have values. And then for my last field, I want to create a field called visible. And we're going to we're going to go ahead and set this to tiny int. Now this stands for boolean. This is either yes or no or true or false. So I'm going to give it a 1 right here. So 1 is true and 1's going to make it visible or if it's false, it's not going to show up. And what am I missing? Okay, at last we need to give one of our fields a primary key. 
So come over to index and there's a 99.999% chance you're going to set your primary key to your ID field. And a primary key is to computers like how social security numbers are for humans. So say that there's like two John Smiths in our database with the exact same spelling. Well, they're going to have different primary keys in our database just like they would have different social security numbers in real life. So I'm going to go ahead and click on index and I'm going to set primary key to our ID over here. Okay, so I think this is all I want to do when I want to go ahead and click save. And look, okay, so this is what our MySQL just ran. And thank God we have PHP my admin or else we would have to run all this. So if you guys are here, you guys are following along perfectly, and I'll go ahead and see you guys in the next video. So good luck.